Hi loves, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today I'm gonna to show you how I got this gold leaf cut crease using the James Charles X Morphe palette. So let's get started. As always, I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fawn. I'm gonna blend it out with the brush, but I am not gonna set it with any powder so that we can get maximum color payoff. Since this palette does not have the names listed directly on the palette, I'm going to have them posted on the screen so you all can follow along. So the first color I'm going to pick up is this brown shade on a Morphe M506 brush. I'm going to place this into my crease and when I get to the outer third of my eye, I'm going to curve that crease slide upwards towards the tail of my brow bone. This is my preferred shape of cut crease just because I feel like it really lifts the eye up and if you have hooded eyes, slightly hooded eyes, or you just don't have a lot of lid space anything that can bring your eye look upward is always going to be beneficial and it's always going to make it look like you have a lot more lid space than you actually do i'm just pushing this shade into the crease i'm not focused so much on blending it out just yet i just want to make sure to deposit as much color as possible Next, on another Morphe M506 brush, I'm gonna pick up this beige color and I'm gonna use it to blend out the edges of that brown shade that we just laid down. I'm then gonna go back to that brown shade on that same Morphe M506 brush and I'm gonna take it up a little bit higher towards my brow and I'm just gonna blend and buff it up so that it fades into my skin. Moving on, I'm going to grab a super small detail brush and the black shade from that palette and I'm going to start outlining and defining my crease, making sure to follow the same shape that we have already established. And I'm going to use that same brush to start blending out the color just a little bit. With another Morphe M506 brush, I'm gonna pick up this dark brown shade and start to buff out that black line we placed in our crease, taking it up a little bit higher so that it blends in seamlessly with the other colors that we placed in our crease. Typically, I like to go in with about two to three different colors in my crease. I feel like it creates a lot of depth and dimension. This makes the eye look a little bit more interesting. So now I'm just going in and lightly buffing out the edges of that black shadow. I'm bringing it up a little bit higher. I'm using small circular motions as well as windshield wiper motions. I'm then gonna go back in with that super small detail brush and that black shadow to further intensify the crease. With this look, I really wanna make sure that the black actually stands out. I don't want it to be super faded. This is why you're gonna see me go back and forth with the black shadow and the brown shadow. The brown shadow is to make sure that the edges are nicely blended out, but of course, I still want the intensity of the black to come through. Next, I'm gonna carve out my lid using that same LA Girl Pro Conceal and a flat brush. I really take my time when carving out my lid so that I can make sure that everything looks really sharp and really precise. I'm then gonna pick up that beige shade on a MAC 219 brush and pack that all over the lid where I place the concealer. Next, I'm gonna give myself a wing liner using the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner in black. And 
And then I'm gonna smoke out that liner using the black shadow on a Morphe M326 brush. I'm gonna pack that all over the liner and then I'm gonna start to smoke it out by switching over to a Morphe M506 brush. I like the Morphe M326 brush for packing on the shadow and then I like to switch over to the Morphe M506 brush to really blow it out so that it gets that faded and smoky effect. Next, I'm gonna apply the gold leaf using the NYX Glitter Primer. So first, I'm gonna apply the glitter primer at the base of my crease, and then I'm gonna pick up the cut up pieces of the gold leaf on a super small detail brush and apply it right at the base of the crease. What I like about the gold leaf is that it's so easy to move around. So if you place it in the wrong spot, all you have to do is push it a little bit with your brush and you can get it in the exact position that you want. These gold leaf sheets are super affordable. I purchased them from Amazon. I probably got like 50 square sheets of them and I just ripped off a little corner and that's going to be all I need for this eye look. And then I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and chop them up into smaller pieces. You can also just do this with your fingers if you want. Moving on to the bottom of the eyes, I'm first going to line my lower lash line with a black eyeliner pencil and then I'm going to go in and smoke it out using a Morphe M326 brush and the black shade from that palette. I'm then going to go in with the Morphe M506 brush and that warm brown shade from the James Charles palette and further smoke out that black shadow so that it matches the top of the eye look. I like to use the same colors I use in my crease on my lower lash line because I think that it really grounds the look and it makes it a lot more cohesive. I'm then going to apply a combination of these two glitter eyeliners. I'm going to place this in my waterline so that it kind of mimics the same color of the gold leaf that we placed in our crease. For mascara, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara for my top and bottom lashes. I'm then going to place a little bit of this gold shimmer shade into my inner eye corner. And then I'm going to place some of that gold leaf kind of like little tiny freckles into my inner eye corner and tear duct. And I'm just going to use that same NYX glitter primer first and then pick up really really tiny pieces of that gold leaf and just stamp it sporadically into my inner eye corner. And then for lashes, I'm going to go in with the Kara Lashes in the Style 102. Moving on to the lips, I decided to give you guys a couple of different options. You guys know I love a popping nude lip, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So the first lip color I'm going to show you is the standard nude lip. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Praline with a brown lip liner. I love it. I think it's beautiful. It's my go-to. But you know, these are the holidays, you know, we try to be a little bit more festive. So I figured we would switch it up a little bit. For my next lip color, I'm first going to line my lips with a brown lip liner and then I'm going to go over top with the Jordana lip liner in the color Mulberry Cream. This is my new go-to lip liner combo. I absolutely love it and it works with every lip color that I throw on top of it. I'm then going to go in with this Balmain X L'Oreal lipstick in the color Liberation. This is a deeply rich purple color and I'm just going to place that all over my lips. 
So that is lip option number two. It's vampy, it's rich. I like it, but I don't love it. And the reason why is because it's not matte. I don't really like satin finishes for lipsticks unless they're nude. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this purple shade on a brush and just pat that all over my lips and that is gonna mattify it. And I think that's a lot more on trend and a lot more pleasing, at least for me. So all I did was take a little bit of that purple eyeshadow shadow and just pat it over the lip and that is a quick and easy way to mattify your lipstick it also darkened it up a little bit which I kind of like I think it makes it look even more vampy so for lip option number three we're gonna get even more crazy I'm gonna grab this purple shimmer shade and I'm just gonna pat it into the lips and this is just gonna take it up a notch it's gonna add some glam and some glitz and it's totally different than anything that I normally do but I kind of love it. If you like the style of cut crease, definitely check out the playlist I put together at the end of this video. It's got a couple of videos in there that kind of have similar cut creases with similar shapes and similar styles. All right, love, so those are the three and a half lip options. I really hope you all enjoyed this look. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you were not subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have an amazing day and enjoy the holidays.